Hello everyone, welcome back to Porky's Collectibles. Today we have another great video for you today. Today we're gonna to be opening up the Glaceon V-Star box. Now we opened up the Leafeon V-Star last time and if you actually haven't seen that video, please go check out that video and make sure to watch the whole thing till the very end because I did open up one of the first edition Fossil Booster Packs. Now today we will be opening up the Glaceon one as well at the very end, we will be opening up another one of these first edition Fossil Booster Packs. Now I opened one last time like I mentioned before, so we still have five packs left to go. And this dice over here will decide what we choose. But before we start, please like and subscribe to our channel and also follow us on Instagram at Porky's Collectibles. So let's go ahead and dig right in. All right, here we go. Here is the product. Let me put it in focus and then we're gonna be opening up one of these as well. Okay, all right. I'm gonna open this a little bit off screen because it's such a big box. Here we go, open it right now, okay. Oh, it's so nice to be able to open newer products without worrying about it being overpriced. Because then everything that we, I, if it's too overpriced, I don't want to open it because I, you want to keep everything sealed. But now that you can actually rip them open and enjoy the hobby, it's, for a collector, it's, you know, it's great. I like how everything's cheap now. You can actually afford things like before. Okay. Pop this off. Here's the cards. I'm gonna try to pop these off like last time. Okay, there's one of them. They've definitely come a long way, ensuring that these cards aren't damaged when you remove them. They fall right out without being held in like the old products were. Oh, I remember the old, what was it, EX era tins when the, the promo level X's were, you know, in the front, it would be hold, uh, held in, sorry, held in place and uh, when you try to remove them you would actually damage the sides so that's why those cards are actually very hard to get in a psa 10 and if you do see one it goes for a really high price just because they already came damaged because removing them were so difficult but here we go let me try to uh why is it so dark uh try to focus on it hmm. anyways here's a glaceon one okay and here's the Glaceon V one. I mean, they're both Glaceon, but one's V star, one's V. Here is the large Glaceon V star card. You can really see all the textures and everything on this card. It's a beautiful card. I'm not a big collect uh, collector on these large cards. All right, we get another one of these V star. I don't know what you want to call it. We get one of those. We get two Fusion Strike. Here is the code card. So there you go. We do get two Evolving Skies and then one Chilling Rain. Now, I'm not expecting to pull anything from these packs. Um, I don't even think, if anyone's ever pulled anything amazing from one of these promo products or the ones with the promotional special edition collector tin slash boxes, you know, 25th, 30th anniversary, ultimate premium super edition, let me know down below because I feel like these are just the leftover packs that they're trying to find a way to get rid of. But let's go through them. Uh, Evolving Skies. Let's just go through this order. I want to do Evolving Skies last, but at the same time, don't matter. They're all going to be opened up anyways. So go ahead and do this. We'll go with the Chilling Rain first. All right. Upside down go card. Let's flip it over. There you go. Code card is right there. Four from the back, two, three, four. All right, let's just go through it fast. Let's see, Water Energy is the first one. Rollipede is the next one. Sybil, I've never heard of this guy. Expedition uh, Uniform is the next card. Heracross, we got a Sobble. We got an Inkly trying to juggle a whole bunch of, looks like picnic food or went to the grocery. It looks like he's gonna fart on you, so. Score Bunny, that's a pretty cool one. We got Fire Resistant Gloves as a reverse. And then our final card is a Galay non-holographic. Surprise, surprise, another non-holographic card. So if you haven't seen my other videos, for me, it's pretty difficult to pull anything nice. If it, I even have really bad booster boxes and um, I don't know how people do it. I mean, I guess it's meant to be controlled so not everyone can pull a Rayquaza VMAX alt art or Umbreon VMAX alt art. 
But you know, I, it'd be nice if I can pull one of the VMAX alt arts. You know, I'm not asking for much. I'll take the Levion one. There we go. That is the code card right there. Four from the back, right there. And first card, Leaf Energy, Metal Energy. All right, we got a Spirit Mask. We got a Poppy Toad. We got a Gold Duck, Hopip. Oops, sorry there. Swablu, we got a Zora, Zora. Cry cryo cryogenic, let's just call him cryogenic. We you know, petite, swab blue, and then we got a holographic Entei. Wow, that's probably gonna be the best card I pull from this whole box. We're gonna put him in the front, we're gonna put him right in the center between Glaceon V and Glaceon V Star, just because how amazing he is. Just because I'm gonna pull anything else other than him. If I pull the Umbreon V Max Alt Heart. If I pull that one, let's go ahead and um, say I will hmm, I will give away a free Evolving Skies booster box. I'm going to put on Instagram and then, you know, make a giveaway. So then you guys can enjoy a nice booster box on me. But that's if this is either the Umbreon VMAX Alt Art or the Rayquaza one. So let's see what we get. I highly doubt it. There is the code card. I do see something, but I doubt it's anything. Probably just a V card. There is four from the back. All right, let's go through them. Leaf energy, should have said leaf energy this time. All right, let me try to focus this. All right, we got a Poppy Toad. We got another Golduck. We got a Boost Shake. Another Swablu. A C Dot. It's probably the first time I've seen C Dot. Woobat. We got a nice Eevee looking at Rayquaza. Rayquaza is going to be in the back, maybe. Well, you know, we never know. And time pole. Alteria, this has got to be a reverse rare. And we got a Lycan Rock V. I mean, already knew with my luck that's what it's going to be. But at the same time, you know, not too shabby. I mean, I did pull a V. Those are the e yeah, it's pretty easy to pull. I think hollows might be harder to pull than V's, but it's better than nothing. We will take it. Oh, but we're not done yet. We still have two more fusion strikes. Let's try to go through these. Still hunting for the Gengar and the Espeon VMAX. Hmm. I don't know if I'll ever pull that, those two cards, but at the same time, we will probably open a one last booster box at one point to see if we can pull it. There is the code card. Let's throw that in the back. One, two, three, four. I just want a full art at this point. It doesn't matter what it is. We got a Lightning Energy, a Garbodor. We got a Marsh Top. We got a Odo Gross. Clef Key, Trubbish. We got a Total Dog playing with some water. We got a Phantom. We got a really lazy Snorlax after eating an apple. We got a Trevenant. And then we got a Zorora. Non holographic card. Or I swear I opened one. Yeah, the Leaf Young one. I pulled one of those as well. So nothing in that one. Let's go with our last pack. Here we go. Last one. Genesect. Bring us some good luck. Maybe Genesect will bring me a nice Gengar V Max Alt Art Super Duper Rare. So let's see what happens. Upside down code card. There we go. Four from the back. There we go, four from the back, four from the back, and we got a fighting energy. I always want to say this is a like a you know rock energy or something, but you know, there's a fist, who knows? Bug catcher has come a long way. Doesn't look as creepy as it used to be. Got a nice, what is it, yarn wiggly tough. Failings, uh, you know, the new Squirtle Squad. We got a Pampor. We got an EV. Looks like something in the back. We'll see if there's anything good. Shinx. We got a Shelmet, we got a Drobar, Baltoy, and our final card is a Bolton, Bolton, Bolton V. So we got two Vs. I mean, actually, that's pretty good. Um, getting two Vs from five packs, what, 40% plus? So we got this, that's 60%. 60% ain't bad. Um, I will say that's actually pretty good. We will take it. We will take it. If it was up to me, I would transform all those five cards Throw them all together and try to re-roll and get a VMAX. That would be great. But at the same time, I want the Glaceon V-Star card. That's a great promo. Um, so, I guess not. 
All right, finally, the last part of this video, which one of these five packs we're gonna open. We're gonna decide this with this dice here. Now this dice, for some reason, always wants to land a one, but please don't land on one, it isn't a one. Okay, it landed on two. So we're gonna be opening the second pack. Now, the ones I wanna pull, Gengar and the Dragonite. Dragonite actually one and then Gengar second. That'd be great for those two. Don't want Muck. Muck is probably the worst I wanted, you know. I did get take some of these to get graded uh, packs. And I believe there was probably like three hollows. After weighing them out, I realized three of them went into grading. So hopefully Dragon Knight and Gengar didn't go into grading. But, you know, we'll see. Hopefully not. Uh, all right. I'm going to try to open this pack. All right. Very carefully, bear with me, bear with me. I know this is very hard to open. I don't want to damage it. I actually like the artworks. I pretty much always keep all the vintage artworks. I try not to cut them. I know there's a couple of videos before I have cut them. Kind of regret cutting them just because I really like the packs. All right, here we go. Out of the pack. The pack trick is three. One, two, three. I do see a white dot on the very top right there. So that's unfortunate, but you know, it is what it is. All right, Tentacruel is the first one. We got a Cloister. I was just talking about the other day how Cloister seems like no one remembers Cloister. I sometimes forget Cloister is a Pokemon. It'll be really, you know, 151 Pokemon, actually. Ghastly, maybe we'll get a, a Gengar. Oh, I guess we can get a Hunter too. Let's hope I don't get a Hunter. All right, Kabuto. We got an Omnimite. Omnimite. Om Omnimite. We got a Tentacool. We got an Energy Search. We got a Psyduck. Ooh, Psyduck's pretty cool. A nice Slowpoke with a couple of clouds in the background. We got a Geodude. Ooh, and there we go. There is the final card. I thought there was a trainer for some reason, but... Hitmon Lee is going to be our first edition holographic rare. Looks pretty clean on the front. Centering looks very good. Uh, just like a weird, maybe that's a light scratch right there. I know it's hard to see. The back, we did mention that there was a white dot in the very top. I don't know if you can tell. Right there, a little white dot. Overall, the card looks immaculate other than that. So that is our... First edition fossil booster pack. We have four left to go. Hopefully I get at least one, either a Gengar or a Dragonite. Dragonite, Dragonite. And um, I won't care what else I pull. If I can pull that Dragonite, it'd be amazing. But let's just replace Entei because him on me so much better. Well, if you guys like and enjoy the video, please comment down below and don't forget to, you know, smash that like button um i don't know all of them say smash the like button you know ring the bell whatever you want to call it but you know i'm here to just enjoy opening up some packs so until next time all right see y'all